Good morning students. Today let us know about the heavy metal accumulation in the fish of Udilabad water reservoir. Students, what are heavy metals? They are the metals with high atomic number and mass. Usually, the metals with atomic number more than 20 are considered as heavy metals. Got it students? Examples are zinc, cadmium, mercury, iron, lead, nickel, etc. Now students, today it's a very common observation that the water bodies like lakes, ponds, rivers, oceans are becoming the hot spots of pollution. This is because of the release of effluents, chemical effluents from the industry, sewage from homes, agricultural runoff from the fields. Got it students? Of all the pollutants that are reaching the water bodies, the main threat is from heavy metals. I told what are heavy metals, right? These heavy metals are very toxic, that is poisonous and they cause various diseases to the aquatic biota. Now as man is dependent on the aquatic biota for his food requirements, he is also at threat. Got it? So to understand this concept, there is a case study given in our textbook and that is what is heavy metal accumulation in the fish of Udilabad water reservoir. Got it? Shall we start? Yes. This Udilabad is a lake in Rangareddy district of Telangana. On this lake, a study was conducted by a group of scientists to know about heavy metal accumulation. So for their study, they have taken fish as the experimental model. Why? Because fishes, they strongly respond to the stress conditions and act as bioindicators of pollution. Got it? So in any water body, the fishes, they act as bioindicators of pollution. Got it students? Now, let us see what is their study. These scientists have collected three water samples in three different areas of the lake in three different seasons, that is pre-monsoon, monsoon and post-monsoon. Like that, they have collected for about three years, that is from 2005 to 2007. So, three years, three seasons, three water samples in three different areas. So 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 that is the 81 samples they have collected along with fish. The fish species living in the lake is Cyprinus scorpio. It is the edible fish in that area. Got it? Now the study of those scientists revealed certain facts. Let us look into that. So the first thing is metal concentrations in the lake is in the order of iron followed by lead followed by chromium, nickel and cadmium. So this says that cadmium accumulation is least and iron accumulation is maximum. Got it? Next, accumulation in fish tissues. They have actually taken kidney, gills and uh, liver of the fishes and in them they found the accumulation is in the order of cadmium followed by chromium, iron, then nickel, then lead. So from this we can understand cadmium accumulation is less in river but accumulation is more in the fish body. Got it? So fishes are very sensitive for cadmium accumulation. Got it students? Now they also found that the accumulation of this metals is more in monsoon season because monsoon means rainy season right? So the rains they bring different drains into the uh, water body so there is more accumulation during monsoon season got it students and they finally concluded that local people who prey on this fish suffer from hypertension that is bp cardiac fever renal damage that is kidney damage nausea etc got it students this is the case study of udilabad water reservoir got it now case study of Udilabad water reservoir make us understand two important concepts of our environment. They are bioaccumulation and biomagnification. Let us see what are these now. What is bioaccumulation? It is simply accumulation of a toxic chemical in the tissues of an organism in a food chain. So let us consider this is the food chain of Udilabad water reservoir. See uh, in food chain what are the components present? Uh, producers. So here the producers are aquatic algae. Then they 
primary consumers. So here primary consumers are zooplankton. Zooplankton means small small insects. And these are eaten by secondary consumer small fishes. And these small fishes are eaten by large fish. And this large fish is eaten by man. So this is the food chain in the reservoir. Let us consider. Okay. Now scientists have found that there is accumulation of cadmium in the fishes. Right. So that process of accumulation of toxic chemical in the tissues of an organism in a food chain is what is called as bioaccumulation. So our fishes, the small and large fishes, they got accumulated with cadmium and that process is called as bioaccumulation. Got it students? Simply just accumulation of a toxic chemical in an organism belonging to a particular food chain is called as bioaccumulation. Got it? Now, what is biomagnification? It is the increase in the concentration of a toxic chemical in the top organism of the food chain. So students in this food chain which is the top organism it is man. So in man we find more concentration of cadmium when compared to the fishes. And this increase in the concentration of a toxic chemical in the top organism of the food chain is what is called as biomagnification. Got it? But the bioaccumulation is simply aggregation of a toxic chemical in the body of an organism in a food chain. But here the increase, increase in the top organism as we move from one trophic level to another trophic level is what is called as biomagnification. Got it students? How this magnification occurs let us see. Students the water is having 100 mu g of cadmium per ml. So let us say, let us assume that. So water is having 100 mu g of cadmium per 1 ml. Got it. So now the algae has consumed 10 ml of water. Then how much the algae accumulates in it? It is 10 into 100. So algae is having now 1000 mu g of cadmium. Now assume the same thing. If the zooplankton, zooplankton means small small insects which feed on algae. So if the zooplankton eats 10 such algae then how much it gets 10 into 1000 that is the zooplankton accumulates 10,000 mu g. Same process occurs here also. If one small fish eats 10 zooplankton then it gets into its body 1 lakh mu g. And if the large fish eats such a small fishes, 10 small fishes, then it would get how much? It is 10 lakh mu g. Same way, if man eats 10 fishes, then he would get uh, 1 crore, right? 1 crore of the, 1 crore mu g of cadmium. Got it students? Did you understand the concept here? So, this, this is how the magnification occurs from one trophic level to another trophic level and finally we find increased concentration in the top level organism of the food chain and this process is what is called as biomagnification. Got it? I hope you understood. Now this biomagnification takes place within a trophic level. So accumulation is within a trophic level. The fish got accumulated with cadmium that is accumulation and that is happening at this trophic level. Now biomagnification occurs between trophic levels because this is the increase in concentration and where this increase is happening it is between the trophic levels as we are moving from one trophic level to another trophic level the increase is happening. Got it students? Now the example is transfer of cadmium from the microscopic aquatic organisms so produces and small the algae and zooplankton the small microscopic aquatic organisms right so as we move from these aquatic small small aquatic organisms into fish small fish and then into big fish then into man this magnification occurs got it students so this is the example so i hope you understood what is biomagnification and bioaccumulation it is simply accumulation in an organism this is increase across the 
food chain leading to highest concentration in the top carnivore or top organism got it students i hope you understood thank you